Hello everybody, today I'm going to do a review on the Diane Ling Young stickerless, basically the stickerless Diane Ling Young version 2. So, this cube, I got it at um, E3 Cube Store because this was the cheapest place to get it. And I also got it with a YJ 3x3 and Silic Cube right here. This stuff is amazing. It's cheap and amazing. It's cheaper than Lubix and it's cheaper than Lubix and gives you more. Um, the size comparisons I want to do right now. I'm going to do a few size comparisons. I'm going to do a size comparison to the Zanchi. Now that's, the Zanchi is just a little bit bigger. And the Guhong is just a little bit bigger. So the Guhong and the Zanchi are the Guhong and the Zanchi are bigger than the stickerless. You can actually feel the difference for some reason. I have no idea why you can feel the difference. You just do. Um, the sticker quality. Well, there is no stickers really, but I'm gonna say plastic quality would be a better word for it. Um, it's very nice. It's the plastic is pretty. The plastic colors are pretty nice. Um, I don't really matter about the dark blue because it has light green. Usually it comes with dark green and dark blue like this. So, I don't really mind that. The yellow's a little dull. I wish they made it, the yellow a little brighter like that. And all the other colors are just... Okay, no white. I'm going to compare actually to my Zanchi. Here's the white. Here's the blue. They're pretty much the same. Here's the yellow. I wish the yellow was this color. Here's the green. Yeah, I like that green. Here is the orange. Pretty much the same. Here is the red. That's pretty much the same. Alright, so the turning of it is pretty nice. Turning is fairly good. It's very smooth, I have to say. It's really smooth. I. It's really smooth. This is already pre lubed with silly cubes, so I didn't have to lubricate it with it. But it's very nice like it's very nice and also I forgot to mention the first impressions of this is also very nice so the first impressions and now it's still pretty much the same still the same the mechanism is different from the Zanchi and the Guhong um, we'll be, I don't want to really compare with the, all three of them but I'm going to Alright, I'm going to compare it to the Guhong first, since it's the one above it. So I'm going to zoom in. So here is the Guhong and, Guhong and the Ling Young. See? You see the difference? This has a track right here to prevent friction, or reduce friction. Looks, the edge is still the same a little bit. And uh, everything else looks the same besides the tracks on there. So, here's the comparison to the Zanshi. I don't know why it has yellow torpedoes, but that's pretty cool. So you can see this right here is more concave than this. So it has more friction here. And it has this to prevent popping and stay in alignment, sort of. So yeah, that's the edges for them. Now the corners. Here's a corner piece of a Guhong and Ling Young version 2. So you can see this has all bigger, like a really big dip to have reverse corner cutting and regular corner cutting. Pretty cool. And here is it for a Zanchi. Now the dips aren't as big, but they're pretty big still. They're not as big as the Ling Young. It has more natural carvings on that and then the Ling Young. And here is the center centers. Here's the center of a Guhong. And here is the center of a Ling Young. 
looks pretty different actually. You can see there's a little gap in between it, unlike the Guhan. And here is it for a Zanshi. Looks, looks a lot more similar to the Guhong than this. So the centerpieces are a little different. I'm going to reassemble this now. Now I did Scylla cube all of these. All the cubes I just showed right now. And then it makes it amazing. So my main, unfortunately, will still be my Zanji. For a few different reasons. Only one reason, because it's illegal cube. Dang it. So that is the part of the that's the mechanism. The pops and lockups. Cube doesn't really pop. It's only when I first got out of the box, the cube was a pretty loose. So even with the torpedoes, the cube popped a lot. And lockups usually doesn't happen unless you're trying to corner cut a lot, like oh, let me show you. Like that. See? The the concave part is too much so it so it's like catching on the corner piece on the center piece. Like that. You can see that. That's the only lock ups I get. I'm probably gonna modify that and make the holes a little bigger. And corner cutting is about forty five. Right, let's try a different side. Yeah, forty five. Now a little bit over 45 right there. Yeah, 45. About 45, and after 45 it starts locking up. And the centers. Ah, can't get these out. They're really hard to get out. Not as hard as like the Shang Shao 5x5 centers, but they're pretty hard. You have to use both fingernails and pry it off. Grr. Ah, there we go. I have these little bumps on here, I guess. Easier to grip. Here's a centerpiece. Here's a center. Here's a center. Alright. And overall thoughts of this, it's really nice cue, I have to say. This cube is very nice, uh, I, there's nothing really I can say about this cube that's bad, so, except for like colors maybe, but that's pretty much it, and the lockups for the corner cutting, so that's pretty much it, but I will not be using this as my main ever, because it's illegal unless it becomes legal, but which will never happen, this will be, this will be my main still, because one, I broke this in for about like three months, and I'm not going to waste all that effort just to do it on a colored. And two, this is illegal, as I said a lot, so in competition, so I'm not going to use it. So I'm going to give you a little solve before I'm done with this. Alright, so let me do a solve. I've been working this in all day at school, and it's awesome now. I'm not used to getting solves. Oh crap, I did that. Edge pair wrong. Or F12 pair wrong. Alright, solved. So that's it everybody. This cube is amazing. Go get it. Get it from E3 Cube Store. They're the cheapest. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Hope you guys have a great day and subscribe.